Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And, and we're, we're from the Chanastics too. too. Welcome to TC Tuesday. Today we have another one day tutorial, which is a back walkover. So we're gonna teach you guys the, what in our opinion would be the best process to follow if you're trying to get your back walkover in one day. So let's get started. any tutorial we're going to put a quick little disclaimer in so obviously this is to get your back walkover in one day which compared to our back handspring and back tech tutorials this should be way more doable but to make sure you guys are following each of the tips to like exactly what we say make sure you're getting it 100% of the way there before you move on to the next step um and yeah I hope you get your back walkover so if you want to learn your back walkover in one day it's important to make sure you have the skills you need to complete it successfully one of the skills you should have is a back bend kickover If you do not already have a back bend kickover, you can definitely search YouTube. We actually do have a couple on our channel you could check out. Um, but for the sake of time, we're going to include a mini tutorial in this video. To get used to the motion of a back bend kickover, get into a back bend, put your good leg in the air, and start to bounce up and down. Then, what you're going to do is stack up some mats or something tall that's a higher surface, get into your back bend, and then do a kickover from there. The higher surface is going to make it easier for you to do the back bend kickover. Then, once you feel comfortable, start lowering the surface. Do the same thing, get into your back bend, start doing some more kickovers. Eventually the goal is to lower the surface until you're completely on the floor. The approach of a back walkover is slightly different than the approach of a back bend kickover. You're going to want to stand up tall, arms by your ears, and have your good leg out in front. A great stepping stone between a back bend kickover and a back walkover is a modified kickover. To do this, start like you would for a back walkover, then go into a back bend leaving both feet on the ground. From there, go into a kickover. It's a little hard to keep your balance, gonna be honest. Make sure when you're doing this, you're not bringing your good foot next to your bad foot. The point of this is to keep one leg in front of the other. Here's what your modified kickover should look like from the side. And remember, if you ever don't know if you're doing something correctly, you can record it and see how you're doing. We have a couple of drills to help you with your back walkover. The first one is to help you gain your balance. So what you're going to do is stand on your bad leg with your good leg up in the air, arms by your ears. This is just going to help you get your balance for when you start to do your back walkover. The next drill is to start leaning back so that your arms are up by your ears and your good leg starts to tilt back with you because that's one of the main differences between a back bend kickover and a back walkover is that as you're bending back, your leg is going to travel with you. So we just do these small little lever backwards and then come back to a standing position. Now that you're ready to start traveling backwards, we recommend you go back onto a higher surface. This is just going to be a little less scary than going straight to the ground. You'll be able to see it sooner. And you can also have a spot for this if you want one. Be careful, if you use mats, they can slide like that. <laughs> As you get better at it, you can start lowering your surface. As you can see here, there's two mats stacked up, and now Megan has moved down to one mat. Also, I don't think you need to stand up out of it to come out of it. You can definitely go back and then just crumble out of your back bend. <laughs> I think one of the hardest things about transitioning from a back bend kickover to a back walkover is definitely that there's an added fear of going backward for some reason. So our tip is to just look back while you're standing before going into your back walkover. We found this actually helped a lot because you can see the ground and it kind of gets you in like the right mindset where you can see the ground and then go into the back walkover. I would try it out because it actually helped me and I'm not even afraid of going backwards. You're now ready to start doing your back walkovers. Feel free to tilt your head back if the previous tip helped you out before starting your back walkover. You can also try a spotter because that'll make it less scary also. Once you've mastered your back walkover, we can talk about a couple ways to make it harder. So you already mastered this starting position. The next hardest would be to lift your leg up a little bit off the ground and the final hardest one that we're going to show you is just lifting your leg up to horizontal. Here is an example of a back walkover at the medium height. And here's an example of a back walkover at the hardest height. We really hope these tips helped you out and we wish you good luck. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's try this video to 20,000 thumbs up. Also, if you want a chance to be the pinned comment, then go ahead and comment down below which tip you thought was the most helpful. 
Also, make sure you guys subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button down below. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.